If a man working on these lines does not wear the protective equipment required for working on a live or energized circuit, he could be shocked or even killed. However, by being aware of the hazards and following company safety procedures, such as wearing the proper protective equipment, he can work safely on these lines. Now, in addition to the invisibility of electricity, arcs and electrical faults are two other electrical conditions that can be safety hazards. Let's first look at arcs. An arc is a bright discharge of electricity that crosses a gap in a circuit. Arcs often occur when a switch on an energized circuit is opened. In this simplified illustration, this line represents part of an energized circuit, and this represents a switch with two contact points. The arrow shows the direction in which current flows. When the switch is opened, there is a gap between these two contact points. An arc can be a temporary discharge or electrical flash from one contact to the other. Or it may be a sustained electrical discharge. Now, both kinds of arcs are safety hazards because they can generate heat and cause fires. An electrical fault is a defective point in a circuit that can interrupt the normal flow of electricity. Now, faults can be caused by grounding, short-circuiting, breaking an energized circuit, or the failure of insulation. Let's use an illustration to show the safety hazards represented by two kinds of faults, ground faults and short circuits. Now here we have energized overhead lines. Insulators which support the lines on the pole's cross arm and a neutral line connected to a ground. A ground is an intended path for current to flow to the earth. During normal operation, current flows through the lines. A ground fault occurs when a low resistance electrical path to ground is created unintentionally by a defect in the circuit. For example, a broken insulator is a defect which can create an unintentional path to ground. Current which normally flows through the line can seek an alternate flow path across a material with low resistance such as this broken insulator. Under the right conditions, current can travel through this line, across the insulator and the cross arm, and through the closest ground.